How's it going, everybody? It's her favorite cow. Oh, don't joke. Sorry, Momo. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I took this sample. <laughs> and made this beat. The sample comes from a really good friend of mine, Serena Hernandez. She's a classically trained vocalist and studio musician. If you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button for more tutorials just like this one. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to open up a new MIDI track. Right click, insert MIDI track, or Control Shift T or Command Shift T on your keyboard. Go to Instruments, use a simpler sampler, and then we drag the audio clip to simpler or sampler. I'm going to see how I can manipulate it using a little mini keyboard. Okay. Okay, I think I like that. Okay. If you want to find the BPM of what you're chopping up, there's an option right up here called tap. Play the melody in your head and tap to find the BPM. All right, so I'm tapping and the BPM is being changed to about 62. Maybe a little faster. Also, I like to do the sample first because the sample is basically going to indicate where the beat is going to go. Right, so let me throw in some effects. Go to my trusty sound toys. Uh, maybe some Echo Boy would be nice. Let's have this swing. rush but I think this will benefit from some little bit of reverb I actually don't entirely mind the reverb on Ableton the stock reverb the concert hall is pretty good I personally find it okay and notice we're not mixing we're going straight into the production side only the the creation of the beat first I'm okay with that let's go on to the drums now I'm thinking like a really heavy industrial kick let's see something here something like this I think this could actually work as a maybe a secondary drum a secondary kick I mean just lower that a little bit let's go on to snares oh maybe yeah I kind of want something like lo-fi ish So I kind of fucked up. <laughs> Basically, the sample is has an Echo Boy effect in it, which is making it rush, which was throwing me off in the drums. It's a little bit unquantized, a little bit, you know, but sometimes that's good, has a little bit of human feel to it, has a bit of swing. Added this tribal drum on top of my kick drum to kind of give it a more like epic effect. Now I'm gonna add my hi-hats. Um, you know what, this one works. I like a little rhythm. It's a little bit off because of the Echo Boy, but let me just have this right here. Oh yeah, having that one, that one right there. That's the sauce right there. That sounds, that sounds pretty good so far. 
All right, let's add some 808s to this. I'm feeling something like aggressive. Fuck it, why not? <laughs> Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. So now all I'm doing is playing on every note change. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy my kick drum pattern and then duplicate that onto my mini recording of the 808 so the drums are in sync with each other. I'll show you what I mean right now. So what you want to do is to go into your drum pattern, click the key that has your drum kick in it, copy it, go to your 808 pattern, and paste it. But now that you click all of it, you can drag that up or shift up. And now that we're basically in the same register, you can now change the rhythm of your pattern to copy the rhythm of the kick drum. And you can see it a lot easier. This drum pattern is a bit simple, but for compli more complicated kick drum patterns, it's a lifesaver. And now delete that copied kick drum pattern, and voila, your 808 is in sync with your kick drum. Maybe have it end on this little, like, that little flourish. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. I yeah, remember this note was a B, so let me just add that in the second loop around. I think it sounds better like this. Alright, so let's just compress this 808 to the kick drum real quick and sidechain it. Mess around with the attack and release to, the, to your preference. I think I just want to add some, maybe some synths and I think I might just call it. Shit. Fucking terrifying. I am actually scared by what I fucking made. Now it stops making it more creepy and now it's like making it like spacey and I'm okay with that. It makes me less uncomfortable. <laughs> Let me just add my tag. Just have to Kanye a little bit. <laughs> All right, guys, comment below. Would you thaw the beat? And would you use this kind of sample? Subscribe and like if you haven't done already. And I'll see you guys next time. Moo moo. Out.